Hi, thanks for tuning in to watch my landscape sculpting training series. In this video, I want to talk about the, uh, the stamp pack and what kind of stamps you get with that pack. So I'll kind of go over an overview on those uh, stamps real quick. We'll kind of fly through this real quickly. Um, I've already got the landscape set up from a previous video, so if you haven't watched that, watch that video first on how to set this exact environment up. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to the first uh, landscape stamp, which is Stamp Cliff 1. Uh, there's also two. I need to go back to one here. And what I want to show you is we want to go to Sculpt, off Alpha Brush, and your your uh, landscape mode. And what we want to do is change our brush size. The landscape stamps are the bigger size ones. Again, the landscape stamps are uh, made around 8192 versus the landscape brushes, which is made at the 2048 size. So keep that in mind. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, the different textures are packed with four channels. So you have the red channel, the green channel, blue channel, alpha channel, and all those channels have their own gray mass for the height map for making these, uh, these stamps. So we have the red and the green and etc. So we'll go ahead and do the red. I'll do uh, 10. Uh, you can adjust the, uh, the size, the strength uh, of these uh, to whatever you want. I'll go ahead and hit that. That's a uh, pretty extreme. I uh, will go ahead and undo. And again, watch that frame rate drop until it comes back there. And I'll go ahead and uh, I want to do uh, less. So let's do like four. You can adjust this for whatever purpose you're trying to do. I like to do a one click so it's not so extreme. Or if you want to do uh, some tracking, hit shift and click. You can go in inside the ground if you want to do that. So this is where you can really start uh, mix and matching some of the shapes. Uh, I do have auto rotate off. Uh, for some instances, you may want to control the rotation of it uh, and start uh, sculpting away some of these different environments. Uh, let's go ahead and go to a different one. I want to go ahead and just kind of show these off. So I'll go ahead and go to 10 um, and then go to uh, green. Let's see what green's like. Let's click on this, this one. It's a little extreme, so I want to go ahead and back that off to let's go to 5 and see what that looks like. Click. That's a little better. Um, we'll go ahead and hit play uh, from the spot. Yes, play from current camera location and hit play. And we can kind of see the, the size. That's a pretty good size for what I wanted to do it as. Escape from that. So the next thing is, let's go ahead and look at the, the green, the blue. Now these cliffs are uh, just one set of different uh, imprints that you get for the stamps. So I'll go ahead and go to the alpha channel and try this one out. There we go. Um, and then what we can also do is, you know, again, sub on each one of those. So there's the, uh, the cliffs. We also have the crater pack. I'll click on that one. And here's where we can actually hit uh, uh, shift to go inside to create the creator. Or if you really wanted to, you could just do it without shift and uh, use it for a different purpose. Let's go ahead and escape. You can see you get like a flat top on, on there too. So it's, it's pretty cool. So it's whatever you really want. It has a lot of like erosion bands coming off the side of it. Uh, some of the things that you might see, uh, this one has a little bit of these points on here. Those are smooth, uh, just the way, uh, the way the size is to it. Um, so there's the alpha on that one. And let's see here. Let's go to the red one. Let's try that one and hit shift. Oh, that one has a cool shape in the center. Let's go ahead and go to the, the green. Try that one out. And then let's try out the, let's go ahead and go to 10 on this one here and undo that one. All right. Let's see what it looks like at, at 10. Whoops, it did save my spot. Shift, there we go. There's another crater off there. And let's go ahead and go to blue to finish the series off of the, the set. And there's a couple different choices for, you know, the depth, you know, it's, they can be used at different uh, depths for sure. There's also the, um, some of these might work for brushes too, you know, to paint with so that they can be used for painting. I'll go ahead and go to the, um, the next set, which is, so those are cliffs, craters, and these are the flats. Uh, the flats are pretty cool because uh, they're for like walkable surfaces. Uh, may not be for everybody, but uh, kind of ran across it. And I was like, oh, this would be kind of cool. Uh, let's in. Uh, I kind of enjoyed it, so I'll go ahead and put this one in. That one's a little big, so I'll undo that. Let's go ahead and make this to like four on the flats, and we'll imprint that. And what you see is a nice little area, uh, flat area, so we can have some nav mesh. Because I wanted to have some things that we could do some nav mesh and pathing with. So these flats are, are ideal for that. So then once we you know jump into uh, the player, hit play on that, you can kind of see how big these these are for these paths. So th those are pretty cool to play with those flats that way. Let's go ahead and escape out of that. And I'll go ahead and undo it, undo that, and look at the red channel. There's the green channel. Uh, I'll take the auto-rotate off just because uh, the video is not so cool to watch it 
flip back and forth. So we'll go ahead and do one of those. There's a different type of one. Undo it. It'll check out the, the blue one and do that. That's pretty cool. Or if you wanted to go inverse, that's pretty cool too. It's kind of like a, a, a base, a walled in base this way, right? So you can definitely mix and match these to, to your own needs. Pretty cool. Be creative with it. Uh, let's see here. We already talked about the alpha one. Did we show that one off? Let's do that one. Yeah, there's another one there. As you see, there's different choices in uh, uh, shapes and design. So we'll go ahead and undo that. Let's go to the next one. What else do we got here? I'll go ahead and, zoom and control some of these. All right. Uh, let's go to, so we got the flats. There's a few different choices in the flats. We got the heels. We got some uh, choices on the heels. So let's see. We got quite a bit of uh, lumpy heels here. Let's change it up to uh, 10. Let's go to blue. What does the blue look like? And we'll change that sculpt out. All right. And also on these hills, you could invert those also. So that's just one like. Because a lot of the hills technically could be craters, and all the craters could technically be hills. So you can do that. Hit shift and go down. You start to get the crater look. A more of a worn out crater, pretty old, ancient impact from. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and go to the, uh, the green channel. What do we get on the green channel? Let's look at that one. That's a. Uh, Maybe a little bit too strong of strength, so we'll change the strength out and do that. That looks much better for a heel, in my opinion. And then uh, we'll go ahead and undo those. And let's check out the, what else we haven't checked out yet? The red one. Let's check out the red one. I think this is more of a simple heel. Let's see how that one looks. Yeah. With that, that one has that flat top on it. A heel that you can run up on the side. It has a little ramp at the side to go up to the top. You can put those in real quickly. Uh, and let's see what is our next our next category we have here. So we have some hills, some stamp lakes, some stamp uh, mountains, uh, stamp passages, stamp paths. So there's a lot of them in here. Stamp uh, plateaus, stamp ramps, stamp river, stamp sub lake one, stamp rivers two, stamp volcano. So there's definitely a lot of different things for you to, to choose here to play with. So that's a pretty uh, quick overview on, on sculpting with them. Now again, I did say some of these you could probably use uh, for painting too. So for painting, what you would do is go ahead and hit uh, go to painting side of it and go paint and we'll want to do alpha rush uh, and then before we actually click anything we need to make uh, some layers up here so we'll go ahead and um, add this layer let's see here add a uh, blended layer yeah that's fine and then add a white blended layer yes that's great all right so now if I go ahead and Let's go back to those, those uh, craters, uh, stamp crater. Let's try crater number two. And let's see if we can get the kind of a look I'm looking for. Maybe this one here. Uh, maybe that one here. Okay, this one looks kind of cool. All right, let's, so let's get this one smaller. Let's get it kind of like that detail. And then we probably don't want to go over one. So if we click on that, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take a minute. It's got to think. All right, now you're starting to get broke up edges there. That's great. So we could actually do a, um, a 0.5 and click it once. And you can start seeing it's a, little, it's a little better that way. So I click it a couple times. I do like the one better. And then, uh, so they, they do work uh, for uh, breaking up some of the edges if you really want to clean up some of the edges around. There you go. Uh, and then you could also, you know, you could use other things. Let's see. This for kicks and giggles. Let's go look at a passage. Let's look at a passage. Uh, yeah, let's look at that. What would that look like? Just to play around with that. Yeah, you start getting some really weird shapes. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, but you could sit there and help paint with a like a, a long line with a, a ball chain on it. So you could repurpose some of these stamps for painting for some weird and unusual shapes. So I kind of get some peninsulas coming off here. So it's kind of cool. Uh, but anyways. Uh, that's pretty much why I wanted to show you kind of a getting involved with the stamps, how to use them. So basically the main thing is kind of use them at the 8192. Again, you can use them uh, bigger uh, depending on what size you're looking for. Uh, for the, the best look, they're made for that compression of 8192. So uh, if you have questions again, uh, thanks for watching. Leave them below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Thanks again. Bye.